Veganism is not a diet about humans. It's a movement to build respect for our fellow animals and end their breeding, use, and murder. Hello fellow animal respecters. In this video, I'm going to be responding to the viral sensation, Save Ralph. By now, the short video, Save Ralph, has amassed millions of views. I've lost count myself. So I think it's pretty cool with videos like this to ponder why they were so successful. Let's get into it. I know when I first saw it, I thought to myself, wow, that'd be pretty cool if I could do something like that. But now that I know that it takes a whole team of people to do that. You literally have to decide what every single frame is. It's just very, very time consuming. There's been a big team involved, 24 model makers, mechanical body, mechanical head. I'm not so sure I can exactly pull that off, at least for now. But I think there's some really cool points to pull out from this Making of Save Ralph video. Earlier on when one of the creators was talking about how they're creating a character that doesn't exist. But the magic of it is that when it all comes together you've created life. You've created a character that didn't exist otherwise. To me this is the ultimate ask of animal advocates is oftentimes um, our fellow animals are invisibilized. The victim is completely removed from our language and ultimately through our thought process, they're, they're pushed to the corners, you know, where we don't even think about them. And that's what I think is so powerful about this Save Ralph video, because as was also said, you know, they, they created emotion. The most important thing for me was that he could show emotion, a puppet that can give us a great performance. I wanted to create something that made you feel, you know, and I thought that if we could let the audience in to empathize with Ralph, by the time we get to this horrible reality of his world, that it'll hit you in the guts and you'll feel something and hopefully that feeling will make you do something about it. I think that's so crucial because I think it's tempting to focus on these logic-based debates and all this stuff, but if we don't have emotion and we don't have empathy, how are we gonna consider things from our fellow animal's perspective? Say Ralph also shows us how we can be effective by focusing on our fellow animal's unique individuality rather than only on graphic depictions of their rights being violated. Which to me could be jumping ahead if we haven't first established their individuality. I was a child of the 70s and I remember quite hard hitting campaigns back there that relied on gruesome photographs and things like that. I also think it's super powerful the emotion they put into the voiceovers. Please, Ralphie, please. Ask him if he'll get us out of here. Can you ask him to get us out of here? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what will we see? Come on, Please. Ralphie, just I'm ask really me. I'm really scared. I don't want to die, die man. They really considered things from our fellow animal's perspective and invited the audience to do the same. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch uh, him! Oh, uh, shit. So I think that's something that Save Ralph did so well, pulling people in and ultimately delivering a strong animal-centric message. Now, as I've addressed in my other videos, I do think the, the focus was very clear on the, the cosmetic testing. The goal of the Save Ralph campaign is to ban cosmetic testing on animals globally. Which I think is strategic, which um, we could possibly break down in future videos. But ultimately, it'll be interesting to see where this all comes out. I do think also when we focus on um, so-called legislation or legal rights, sometimes the moral rights or ending all use is kind of pushed to the side. So I would have liked to have seen a clear end all use message, but I understand why the creators and the campaign chose to do it this way. Perhaps very similar to how the Free the MBR Beagles campaign is focusing on one particular species in the hopes that it will build awareness and spread out to all species because I think most people are against the breeding, use, and murder of beagles. So there is a case I guess supposed to be made for a pressure campaign on this, almost as a bit of a foot in the door technique, as long as it's attached to an abolitionist message. I also think some of the language here um, in the making of Save Ralph is, is, is interesting because even though they're in the process of dismantling animal use, or at least an aspect of it, they're still using language talking about how it's Ralph's job. There's an anxiousness and a nervousness in him because of what his job is. Which speciesists could interpret as meaning it's his purpose when it's not, or talking about his workmates. Zac Efron came on to play one of Ralph's work buddies. There's also language focusing on treatment or so-called animal welfare rather than ending all use, such as the language of suffering. If this film helps end some of the suffering, that would be fantastic. 
That's the goal. I also think similar to the original Save Ralph video itself, the absence of the discussion uh, around the breeding is worth noting to me because to me, if we're not breeding these individuals into existence, their testing and murder is a non-issue. So that's where I really think it would be helpful to talk about not creating these individuals in the first place. So obviously this is a very serious issue we're trying to tackle here, but I do think as animal advocates, this is a pretty exciting time because between Save Ralph, the Free the MBR um, Beagle campaign, amongst other initiatives, we're starting to put the focus back on um, so-called vivisection or animal testing, which is I think a great thing to see happen and may also help dismantle the idea that veganism is a diet. It's not a diet. One more time for those in the back. Veganism is not a diet about humans. It's a movement to build respect for our fellow animals and end their breeding, use, and murder. Also, here's a quick rundown of some of the things you may have missed and due to camera angles, may not have been in the original Save Ralph video. One of the most significant scenes in Save Ralph was the bathroom. Did you notice the book above the toilet called The Bleak Hutch by Charles Dickens, a play on the bleak house? Thank you, Deb, for pointing this out in my last video, how there are several other books where there has been a rabbit spin applied to well-known written pieces. If you look closely, you may also see the wallpaper has turtles on it above the shower, which may symbolize Ralph's respect for his fellow animals and desire to be free and live with them. You can also see the turtle wallpaper starting to be torn away, perhaps symbolizing that his hopes for freedom are being torn away too. This could also be foreshadowing that this artificial world Ralph's constructed for himself and he's telling us about where everything will be okay is gradually falling apart. Around the sink, there are also several interesting observations. You can see a lint brush, which could symbolize how Ralph is forced not to just be a rabbit, having to clear his hair from his human clothing. As well as a box of tissues, which likely symbolizes the emotion to come and Ralph's underlying sadness. There are also post-it notes next to the mirror, which while we can't read the contents, this could symbolize the structured existence Ralph is forced to lead in the laboratory. You can also see a small container on his sink, which is likely foreshadowing for the numerous burns we see on his back at the end of Save Ralph, as these types of ointments are used to treat burns. The mug is perhaps one of the most heartbreaking pieces in this room, as it says the world's best dad on it and has several toothbrushes in it. Two of them seem quite small, which could have been for Ralph's children. There are also three larger toothbrushes, which could symbolize Ralph's parents and his partner, who Ralph never seems to mention throughout the video, however there are signs of them, such as the hairdryer on top of the toilet. Perhaps their loss is just too much for Ralph to talk about. The creators also focused in on the bar of soap, which could be a reference to soap being tested on our fellow animals. Or perhaps a bit deeper, it could symbolize Ralph's trying to wash himself clean of the trauma he's experienced. I also think it's great that the creators thought to use synthetic hair. Synthetic fur stretches with him. Because it'd be pretty inconsistent to promote one form of animal use while trying to dismantle another. The lounge used for the breakfast scene also has loads going on with it, from the pictures on the wall symbolizing Ralph's desire to be free and live outside, some pictures that reference Ralph's past life and family, to the pressure gauge perhaps symbolizing the controlled environment of the laboratory setting to come, as well as many other items. In the making of Save Ralph, they highlighted a few key items, such as the telephone, which perhaps symbolizes Ralph's urge to call for help. Ralph's clothing is also deeply significant, as he starts out fully clothed and gradually loses his clothing leading up to the laboratory scene, which likely symbolizes his innocence and vulnerability. You can also see Ralph's cereal, Gasolios, which could be a reference to the petroleum-based products that are heavily tested on our fellow animals, as Gasolio is Italian for diesel fuel. This may also be a subtle reference to Italy being particularly resistant to ending animal testing. This is also a clever way to show how Ralph was probably being tested on throughout the entire video by being force-fed petroleum-based products, and he doesn't even know it, just like we probably didn't notice the first time we watched the video. And how our fellow animals and laboratories right now around the world are innocent and probably don't understand the full extent of what's going to happen to them. The creators also revealed the full contents of the letters on Ralph's fridge up close, which say, Help Ralphie Bunny. You can also see XO in the top left corner to perhaps symbolize that love and respect the creators want people to feel for Ralph. The other letters may have significance too. Can you see something I'm missing? The creators also focused on the water fountain in the closing scene, which is out of order with tape around it, which likely symbolizes the deprivation Ralph is forced to endure. 
However, it's worth noting that even if Ralph weren't deprived of water and other things, using him for testing would still violate his basic moral rights. But the fact that his individuality is being denied, and that he's bred, used, and murdered in the first place. The creators also highlighted the names on the locker in the closing scene, symbolizing the rabbits who were bred, used, and murdered before Ralph. Which when you look closer is absolutely soul-destroying because you can see Ralph's name is the next on the list to be crossed off. With that, I'm always curious to um, hear your thoughts. You know, why did you think Save Ralph did so well? And were you surprised at the level of detail and effort they put into this project? Comments and likes are obviously good for the YouTube algorithm, but beyond the YouTube algorithms, I do really enjoy um, hearing what you think so that we can explore these ideas further together. But on the point of the YouTube algorithm, if you don't subscribe right now, you're probably going to die of protein deficiency. Check out my other Save Ralph videos for more ideas around this campaign. And thank you for all you do to help evolve our language to build respect for our fellow animals. I'll see you in the next video. For free resources, such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.